I knew I wanted to be a geneticist. I, I graduated from medical school in Colombia. The reason why I chose it was I wanted to find out the reasons why things happened. I wanted to know why we were symmetrical and why we formed with two hands and two feet and, two, and, and at the same time we only had one liver and how the symmetry and asymmetry happened and how that was determined by one molecule that was present in every cell but was expressed differentially between the types of cells. I found that fascinating as a concept. In each patient that has a genetic disorder, I find the fascination of whatever went wrong here is what doesn't go wrong in many other instances and it's giving me a clue that I, I, I just enjoy every day of it. From the position after being program director for seven years, I can look back and, and, and have kept me in the role and very interested. I think the education aspect is definitely one of them. The, the possibility of transmit the passion that you feel towards certain aspects of the field, the, the way that you want to emphasize certain components of the educational program. Uh, but then the interaction with the trainees definitely is what keeps you there. It's uh, a lot of fun to work with them uh, in achieving the best quality education. So My goal was to make it a fun program that people wanted to come to and, and that would uh, feel happy and proud to be a part of and that achieved the goal of training excellent geneticists that went to serve a very useful role in the community and I think that those goals have been achieved. You have to allot time to get to know your residents. Spend time with your residents if you can in a social environment. Um, take advantage of little opportunities like the year-end party or organize a lunch once in a while. Get to know their personal lives so that when something happens you're aware of uh, that potential happening and you're aware also of points of happiness in their lives that you can bring up when they're feeling really down. I think that the achievements of our trainees uh, are the indicator. So all of our trainees have uh, gotten a job and have gotten an academic job that uh, in for the most part in centers that they wanted to. Of course Ontario cannot absorb everybody so people have gone to different places but uh, we have representation in many parts of the country. I think that the graduation of the first uh, group of trainees that was junior when I assumed the role was one of the most satisfying and, and continues to be a very satisfying uh, experience to see them as colleagues. When, when the trainee kind of gets it and makes the connection and, and you feel that you're both working together well and you're both excited about finding an answer, that's, that's one of the favorite aspects of the day.